Let us start drawing from top view. So inside the view panel, click this drop down arrow and select top. And draw a rectangle. So inside the draw panel, select rectangle. Click anywhere on the screen and the distance along the X axis from this point to this point is 55. So enter 55 comma and for the Y from this point to this point is 28. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle coming from the center here which has a distance from this edge of 4.5 and from the top for 4.5. So what I'm going to do is just use offset command. So O for offset, enter, and enter 4.5. So click this one and click downward. Now I'm going to draw the squares and the dimension is 3 by 3 as shown here. I'm just going to use the rectangle command from the draw panel. So click rectangle. Click anywhere. Enter 3, comma, 3. Move this one from center to this end point. Click the object. Right click. Copy selection. End point. To end point, this end point, to this end point, enter. Use offset command, so O for offset command, enter, and enter half of 1 is 0.5, enter, click this rectangle, click above it, click this uh, rectangle again, and click below it. We don't need that one. Now bring your drawing to southwest isometric. Extrude this rectangle upward for three units, which is the thickness here from this point to this point. I'm going to extrude the squares downward for 11 units as shown here. So extrude command and bring it downward for 11 units. Enter. I'm going to extrude these two. And the distance is, which is from this point to this point, is 2 inches. So extrude it downward. Extrude. Bring it downward for 2 units. I'm going to use X-ray. Use a guide from midpoint downward for 4 units or 4.01 I'm just going to use 4 which is the distance from this point to this point what I'm going to create is this um, panel here so I'm going to copy this one copy from this midpoint and move it here to the end point. I'm going to change this to shaded with edges. Turn off the grid. Now use subtract command from the ribbon inside the solid editing panel and click the object you want to keep. Right click and remove this one inside. Now apply fillet for point 0.2. So go to solid, select fillet edge, 
and go down to the command prompt click radius option and enter 0.2 enter and click this one that edge enter twice Go down to the command prompt, click radius, and enter point 0.2. Click this one, this edge, and this edge. Enter twice. Right click to repeat fillet edge. Click this one. enter twice just click all the edges I'm gonna combine so use union command click this one I'm gonna combine that this one just combine everything now oh, this is one object and change this one to realistic I'm gonna maximize this one apply materials so type materials now click the Autodesk library and go to wood I'm going to select paneling ash, click this uh, arrow here and apply it here. You can adjust, click this one and uh, the stain color, you can change it to darker color. Okay. And change this one to furniture and change this to unfinish I'm just gonna delete that go to visualize click Sun status Select uh, Adjust Exposure Setting. Turn the environment on. And click this button here. Select Background. Select uh, Gradient. Three colors. And the top view, make it darker. Maybe I'm just going to choose that color and the darkest color here and for this one I'm gonna use um, maybe this color and from the bottom maybe lighter color click OK turn this off adjust exposure click Sun and location Oh, this one first click this uh, drop down arrow and select ground floor I'm just gonna check um, from front view you have to move this one the bottom has to a lot to be aligned with the x-axis so move so we can see the shadow maybe a little bit here move downward a bit there you go then adjust this one click uh, Sun status and you can adjust the date here turn this off first and then adjust exposure setting and then uh, adjust a bit here 
close this one sun and location there you go and you can change this to perspective I think we are done thank you for watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to be notified thank you for watching bye bye